And with that cutscene out of the way, we can continue exploring. We're just about finished, actually, so let's go into this gate here at the east sign of town, yeah. Um, and you talk to this guy, who looks like a trainer of some sort, and he'll give you a macho brace, which helps uh, train your Pokemon. Uh, but its speeds decreases. If you want um, uh, more specifics on how it works, it doubles the F value gain uh, from beating a Pokemon. And now with all that done, we can finally go into the biggest part of town, which I'm sure you're wanting me to go to this whole time. I won, and I lost. <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to mean, but oh well. Well, I know what it's supposed to mean, but whatever. Uh, you're a trainer too, please accept this without a word. Well, we accept just about anything without a, <laughs> a word anyway. We don't even speak. We're the silent protagonist. Anyway, this woman of mystery will go somewhere. That's right. She'll go to the Battle Institute. I forgot where that is, actually. Anyway, the Battle Institute. Um, anyway, we go in here, and... Kind of rocky music. This is the gear station. It's a, it's um, more like the battle tower from previous generations, but I really want to go in here actually because the battle uh, subway is kind of uh, more side stuff. Uh, it, it's yeah, like I said, it's like the battle tower. I may cover it in a bonus video, but what I really want to be going to is taking this train here to Anvil Town, and the flautist over there is the musical person in this town, and. I believe uh, this town is affected by uh, Wi-Fi stuff and stuff you do online, but uh, if you go to this lower house here and talk to this guy, you try challenging the battle subway yet, there's a hotspot for those who want a, some serious battling action. Yeah, it's kind of cool, the uh, battle subway, yeah. I've tried it and got some cool items from it. There's new enter the lost and found items. That's right, nobody ever came to pick this up, so I'll give it to you. And we you always get a rare candy from this, no matter uh, no matter what your Wi-Fi thing may be. It's better for a trainer to use it than for me to hold on to it. I'm sure the item is happier too. Okay. I could a rare candy be happy. Anyway, I'm pretty sure there's a hidden item around here. Someone give me a Ah, I knew it was up in this little uncle bit here. Which is otherwise useless. An Ultra Ball. Yay, more money. And with that done, I think there's no more hidden items, so I think I'll be heading back to Nimbasa City. See you there. Alright, we're back in Nimbasa City, and we can finally take this eastern gate here and go to Team Plasma, which... Ooh. Ends here. You're looking for Team Plasma, right? They ran to the amusement park. Come with me. Okay. If you look up there at the top, that yellow thing, that's actually a Pikachu model. I'll probably show that off a bit better in a minute. Once we've got these cutscenes out of the way. They're not here. Let's try the first wheel and see if we can spot them. <laughs> this scene always amused me for some reason. That this N and your character on the Ferris wheel. But it's got some useful story elements. New. First, I must tell you. I am the king of Team Plasma. WHAT?! Get it asked me to work for him to save the Pokemon. See what I mean? It's just... I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. Over 600 now! About 650, I think? <laughs> Something like that, I don't know the exact number. So many to count and... My Lord N! Oh boy. You're safe, sire! There's no problem. You're part of the peop people we're brought in to help us see Pokemon. So you're under my protection as well. Ah, he's a uh, nice ruler, I guess. He uh, uh, treats his servants wisely. But he's challenging us to a battle so we can let the Team Plasma guys go away, so. But I can't resist a battle anyway, so. Let's go! Cool intro sequence. I like that enveloping shadow in the background of N there. He's still got his same interest. Team Plasma N, and his first Pokemon is Sandile. Ground and Dark again. Uh, level 22. But I'm kind of over leveled at this point, I think, so I'm just gonna dig. And 
hopefully this will get out in one shot because I don't want this battle to last too long. Go on, hit him, hit him for massive damage. Hit the weak point for massive damage. And Bargain I can't use items anymore. I, I'm not sure if that's just held items or if that's actual bag items and I may sneeze here. I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> oh, an extra is level 26. That's cool. Doesn't earn any new moves. And... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh no, nope, I'm not sneezing. <laughs> wow, this is this this is epic commentary right here. <laughs> Do I sneeze or shall I not sneeze? Sneeze or not to sneeze anyway. Iron one learning snap slash. We can get rid of fury swipes for that because fury swipes are kind of outrunners usefulness and slash is a powerful move anyway to replace it. Power 60 and it uh, allows for critical hits. Anyway, sending out Darumak next. Fire types, so this will be easy to kill with Dig. Right. You may notice in Darumak's animation, he tucks in uh, his hands and legs. I'm not entirely sure what. That, yeah, actually. Uh, Darumak is. Um, I forgot what they're called exactly, but they're very close to. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but they're, they're an ornament in Japan, and uh, it's something to do with the eyes, you uh, paint them in or something. I forgot exactly what it was, but regardless, we've still got a battle taking place here, so he sends out his own Scraggy. This probably isn't going to KO one hit because of Scraggy's defense. <coughs> Excuse me. No, it's going to... Ah, Swagger. Because it's confusion. Um... But raises your attack sharply, which sucks. But Slash got through. Uh, I, I never realized before until about a couple of months ago that Swagger is um, actually used as a combo because um, uh, the confusion damage is actually based on your the Pokemon's attack. So uh, yeah, that's if your attack is increased and you hit yourself with confusion, that confusion damage is. Is gonna be more. Anyway, his last Pokemon, a Sigil of Psychic and Flying, like I mentioned before, but this is, uh, if you use this earlier in the battle, it can be kind of problematic because it's got Tailwind, which increases speed, so. Anyway, with one more Razor Shell, should do it, because its defense is lower, even though it's uh, still in green health. And Razor Shell, and there we go. Not hard at all, but as I said, I'm over level. I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna level up. Oh well, the result was the same, but you, who are you? You're the second guy to say that in two videos. You're quite strong. But I have a future that I must change, and for that future, zoom in close. I will defeat the champion and become unbeatable like any other. I'll make all trainers free their Pokemon. Just try and stop me. If you want to be together with Pokemon, you're a little bit to collect the badges from each area and head for the Pokemon League. Try and stop me there, if you dare. That's nice rhyming. If your conviction is not strong enough, you'll never be able to defeat me. I was actually talking quite fast there, but with what uh, we were told at the beginning of the game, that kind of fits, I guess. Anyway, Elliot found an next attack. Yes, I did. And I believe there's a hidden item around here. Indeed. Over here in this alcove. Super Repel. I'm going to be using that. And so with that done, I don't think there's any other hidden items around here. Oh, uh, that Pikachu. Yeah, see? Pikachu doll. Anyway, uh, with that done, I think I'm gonna check for hidden items around the town. I don't think there's any more. And nope, so I'm just gonna heal my Pokemon, and I'm gonna show you some more specials. See you then. Alright, heal my Pokemon, and... Where we're going to go now is actually an optional uh, route where you can train your Pokemon. It's um, very recommended you actually do this now. And uh, just so you know, I've actually done a few things off screen, like t uh, teach moves, and I obviously put the. Uh, whatever I was saying there. Uh, this policeman here has a hurdy level 24. With Intimidate. What? You gotta be kidding me! And that was a critical hit! Ugh. Ah, it killed itself with takedown damage! <laughs> takedown recoil! Uh. Anyway, as I was saying before, I uh, put the 
bicycle on my key items. Anyway, this is Route 16, and plenty of backpackers and bicyclists around here have Pokemon Battle at this speed. This cycler here has a Ducklet, level 22. Oh, um, uh, I taught uh, Dewot and Herdia return for increased damage. Normal damage, anyway. And after Dewot's level up, we she's also got a life on. Alright then. And with that done, we can move on and see fight this backpacker here. I managed to find a quiet spot like this right next to a city. Got a little excited to slap of a Pokemon battle. Alright, he's got a Drillba, level 23. And that was easy enough. Alright, let's head up. I'm gonna need a repel up, I don't trust myself. I don't trust wild Pokemon in this region. Ah. Oh, one of the things I did off screen, if you noticed that primary ball, I, I bought some Pokeballs for later. And if I cut past this tree, thank goodness I still have Chincha, uh, I got a red candy. So, and nothing else over there I don't I want to explore yet. So, let's go over here and face this backpacker. Oh, he's got one Pokemon, his own Scraggy. So, let's end him up against my Scrappy. I think I'll show this, because this will be a one-turn KO, I should think. Brick break. Because it's, uh, one of its two weaknesses is fighting, so, yeah, easy easy. And Scrappy leveled up anyway, level 26. Oh, one of the things I did off screen, actually, as well as teaching Return to Do What and Herdia, I taught, um, Rock, uh, a Rock Tomb to Scrappy for the uh, next gym battle. <laughs> anyway, put the little up front and face this cyclist here, hopefully I can talk to her, there you go. There we go. I ride a bicycle, I feel fresh winds, and I win Pokemon battles. This cyclist has two Pokemon, uh, they're both Wellipedes actually, so one Wellipede, level 22, and a second Wellipede, level 22. After that, after being poisoned, thank goodness I still survived, Herdia is level 27. Now I've stopped calling Herdia by his nickname, jeez. I should find a better nickname for it. Anyway, oh, I need Drillbo to have experience, so I'm gonna... I could go back to the Pokemon Center, but it's quicker to do this, so I'm gonna revive x and heal it up. Uh, Super Potion is the last one, so... Yes, yes. Exit that, and put extra up front. Alright then. And up here, that, that's a bridge up there, but we can't access that until way later. So, what did, uh, I just did off screen there, I uh, had Scrappy learn strength. I uh, replaced Headbutt for it. Take off my bicycle, because I don't want to be running around too much in here running wild anyway. Because the roads are connected, I can go anywhere and challenge anyone. And she has a sweat balloon level 23. Oh, and uh, extra, I switched out and put extra good at level 27. That's nice, that's very, very good. I feel the bond between you and your Pokemon. My Pokemon. My lovely Pokemon. Anyway, <laughs> what on earth was this thing? Anyway, in this corner, for moving that boulder back, we get TM66 Payback, which, uh, Scraggy was trying to learn earlier, so I want to explain what it is. R R repel ward off, but it, it shouldn't matter too much, actually, no. Yeah, I should put up a repel for this. Alright, so repel up, and the items over there is lulling me. Big mushroom, and I'm sure there's hidden items around here somewhere. Oh, it's on that ledge. How do we get up there? Ugh. N never mind. Let's go up here. You know the... Uh... This... Yeah, he doesn't have anything important to say. A woman who lives here thinks it's good to be living quietly by herself, so let's go in here. And she doesn't say anything. 
Actually, this is the site of the Zorok event, if you've got the shiny legendary dogs from events. Oh, there's a waterfall there, and you climb the waterfall to get up there, I see. I thought it was a winter thing. Anyway, now we've explored Route 16. Ah, uh, this is a good place to end this off, so see you next time when we'll take on Nimbasa Gym. See you guys then.